Could a road be constructed to physically connect America and Russia across the ocean? It would be a huge task to construct a bridge or tunnel over the narrow waterway dividing Russia and Alaska. This structure has been the subject of discussions for years, but they have always fallen flat owing to its logistical challenges. Russia and China are currently thinking about the project, so it may materialize. Join us today as we examine this massive undertaking and all the amazing elements that make the concept so intriguing. Over 11,000 years ago, a continent connected North America and Asia, but as sea levels rose, the landmass's existence was short-lived. The Bering Strait, a new geographical formation brought about by the Beringia floods, is still a part of our daily lives. This shallow and small body of water separates the two once united continents. In spite of this, individuals have continued to cross the roadway in the winter using dog sleds, skis, and sometimes even their own two feet. After considering its perfect geographic location, China and Russia have suggested building a billion-dollar tunnel under the Bering Strait. The longest tunnel on the globe would link the continents of the world as part of an amazing engineering marvel. The Bering Strait is situated in the center of two large islands and is just 83 kilometers wide and 50 meters deep at its deepest point. By creating a physical connection and further fostering connections between the three nations, the new beltway crossing is expected to enhance commerce and collaboration between Russia, China, and the United States. Engineers claim that this plan is really highly viable and that there is no reason why a land link at Bering Street couldn't be created, despite the fact that many people have questioned if it is even possible. In 1892, American structural engineer Joseph Strauss proposed the first bridge design, sparking the notion of building a connection over Bering Street. The Russian Empire was made aware of his plan, but it was turned down. A group of railroad tycoons unveiled the first tunnel concept in 1904. The idea was authorized by the Russians a year later, under Nicholas II's leadership. However, the concept was considered by authorities for a while before being rejected in 1907. When Tangent Lin, a Chinese-American structural engineer, proposed an 85-kilometer bridge across the ocean in 1958, which is 30 kilometers longer than the current record holder, the Hong Kong Macau Bridge. Russian officials rejected the idea despite the numerous turbulent events that had occurred earlier. Lin thought that the relationship would promote trade and goodwill between the people of China and Russia. Unfortunately, the idea was still complicated, and after a few years, this suggestion entirely disappeared, followed by Lin's passing in 2003. The Tikama Link, often referred to as the Intercontinental Link, is a 6,000-kilometer rail and oil link that would connect the Russian cities of Moscow and Yakutsk with Alaska. It was first suggested by Russia in 2007. This would necessitate building a 103-kilometer tunnel with ventilation shafts on the islands under Bering Street. The underwater portion of the channel tunnel between the UK and France will be more than twice as long as this tunnel when it is finished. This TCAM connection was authorized by Vladimir Putin the country's prime minister at the time, in 2008. After that, the project was authorized by the Russian government in 2011. On the basis of this notion, Chinese transportation experts unveiled their own 21st century design in 2014, calling for the construction of a 10,000 km high-speed rail line that would link northeast China with the United States and include an underwater tunnel beneath the Bering Strait. Between $65 and $105 billion would be spent on the whole project which China and Russia are coordinating with the United States and Canada, and it would take 10 to 15 years to finish. Even if the building of a bridge or tunnel over the Bering Strait has been shown to be feasible, engineers would still face several difficulties. Although there are no icebergs in the area, there are ice flows because of the little sheets of floating ice. These flows provide a significant structural problem since they might exert stresses of up to 44 meganewtons on a bridge pier. In addition, the cold weather in the area would make the exposed steel on the bridge fragile. Engineers would probably need to encase the whole building in concrete to fix this. Bering Street's neighborhood is likewise quite undeveloped. The closest highway, the Anadur Highway, which is now under construction, is still more than 400 kilometers away on the Russian side of the border, where there are no railroads for 3,200 kilometers. For approximately 1,000 kilometers on the American side, there are no railroads or roadways. The Alaskan Railroad still has no connection to the lower 48 states. As a result, large railways would have to be constructed on either side. 
Due to the tremendous logistical challenges this lack of infrastructure would present in bringing personnel and supplies to the tunnel construction site, the project would be delayed and prices would skyrocket. Only roughly $12 billion would be spent on the tunnel, while the remaining enormous sum would be used to build a whole transportation network. In addition to these worries, there may be logistical difficulties when items need to be transported due to the various train track gauges used in the US and Russia. Gaining U.S. backing is also difficult due to their ambiguous position on the project. It would still be quicker to travel between the U.S. and Asia than to build the tunnel and train route. The tunnel would mostly be utilized for freight because of this. Transporting freight between Asia and North America would be safer, more affordable, and quicker with the construction of a tunnel connecting the two continents. According to the TCAM and World Connection, this would serve as a physical link between North and South America and the Old World as well as a boost to the economies on both sides of the tunnel. If constructed, the tunnel would house electricity and fiber optic cables, a high-speed train and a roadway. The economies of both areas would greatly profit from a tunnel of this size linking Russia and Alaska, further integrating them into the global economy. This would be a tunnel that might be crucial in creating a worldwide corridor for the transmission of renewable energy, delivering wind and tidal power across large distances as well. Although Siberia and Alaska have large amounts of untapped coal, natural gas, and mineral deposits, doing so will provide resource-rich nations with huge potential to boost output and exports. The usage of theoretically accessible hydroelectric power might result in annual energy cost savings of up to $20 billion for North America and the far east of Russia. For these reasons, the Bering Street project has the potential to be a crucial step in uniting the globe and building a future where people from all cultures and nationalities work together. Will this project ever be finished, even if it undoubtedly has the potential to usher in a new age of global collaboration and understanding? What do you think about this massive project? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.